How bad is that? Um, and how urgent is my need to quit? So I think it's really bad. Uh, and I'm not saying that uh, because I'm a doctor and I'm not saying that to be mean to you. In fact, I have no value judgment here. Uh, I assume that you're an adult and if you choose to smoke, that's your decision. Uh, I don't feel that it's my uh, right to tell you that you're not allowed to do that. I don't think I have the right to be paternalistic. What I do feel uh, an obligation to do, particularly in clinic, is to educate uh, and education is really, really important because it's my opinion that if I can help you or someone else who's struggling with smoking understand the risk, it'll help you make your decision about whether you want to continue to smoke or not. Now, the reality is that smoking, um, where you take a carbon-based thing and light it on fire and you create smoke and then you suck in that smoke, is very, very pro-inflammatory. Now, we're all familiar with the fact that it increases the risk of stroke, it increases the risk of heart attack, and those are bad things. It increases the risk of a multitude of cancers. In fact, smoking-related uh, illnesses are the leading cause of death uh, amongst humans. But that's not why I, as an MS neurologist, strongly recommend against smoking. The reason I, as an MS neurologist, recommend that you quit smoking is because it speeds up your disease upwards of twice as fast. You can speed, excuse me, 50% faster. So you can really, really speed up your MS by smoking. And that terrifies me.